Mark, a 1-0 defeat here at Cheltenham today. What are your overall thoughts on the game and your team's performance? Um, I thought the very first couple of actions in the game were OK and then like what they set out to do, we knew what was coming. Um, we didn't defend Ferry driving inside well enough, we didn't block up the space for Circum. It's an excellent finish to put them one up, uh, always a tough game to go behind in. Um, and in the first half we played, we wanted to play with a direct threat obviously, that's why we played the front two. We didn't play with enough quality or recycle the ball often enough when it came back to us and so we lacked a bit of composure, which we did more of in the second half, but we, we just didn't find enough quality actions. Um, you know, we've had set play chances, we've had a couple of good moments in open play that we need to try and score from or a period. But we didn't chase well enough in the end, too many poor decisions with the ball, too many not available to take the ball. Um, despite obviously changing quite a bit throughout the game to try and give us a little bit of something. Um, but they were everything that we thought they would be today off the back of 11 days to prepare under a new manager and be ready for it. And they came out with a really intent about them to get a result. Um, and it was a game that we wanted to take something from. So for us, we, we wanted to come here and win, but to come here and take nothing and, and that to be the uh, on the back of or off the back of the last couple of league games um, where our performance level hasn't been where it was at the start. There's lots for us to do to, to get better. I imagine that a big focus of the team would have been to get off to a good start, but a team that could have possibly been low on confidence under pressure, but the way it turned out sort of worked the opposite, gave them a big boost and put us on the back foot. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really buy the low on confidence from them. They had a brilliant result just before the break and then they've had 10 days of a new manager. So it's a complete transformation for them. It's a very different situation. And obviously they're always going to win a game at some point. You don't want it to be yourselves at all. But you know you're coming into a game that's um, a really tricky one in that sense. But at the same time, we, we have to do better in too many moments. The best chance that they had after that, we give them in the second, in the end of the first half. Um, and we, need, and we, we don't defend a moment well in the second half and create them a chance as well. So it was direct play that we had to deal with. We dealt with it okay, but, but not well enough. And probably the, the downside to the game was the, the quality of forward passing at times or the connections that we had in the game to create real tempo and intensity to try and create something. It's tough when you play on a really narrow pitch to try and create space around the outsides and use your, your 2v1s. We were able to do it a bit better in the second half. But when we got to the top end of the pitch and around the box, we didn't have enough quality or at times courage to try and take, take on the moments to make something happen. So yeah, it's a, it's a poor result for us. Um, and probably, um, I don't know, maybe there was a point in there somewhere for us if at any chance you take a chance, but we, we weren't able to do it. So in the end, uh, it's a defeat that we have to take on the chin and it's off the back of a run of games after a really good start in the first block of games of the season. We're in a run of, of games now where our performance level and results haven't been, haven't been enough for us. What do you put that lack of quality down to? Is it lack of confidence on our part? Uh, probably a little bit, yeah. I mean, I think that can come and go quite quickly. I mean, it, it shouldn't be because we know we've got good players when they play in that way. Um, it's a cycle of seasons, isn't it? People have good spells, bad spells. Um, we've had quite a bit come at once with, with a number of the lads that have played a lot of games in the early part because we weren't quite up to scratch and speed with a few others. A, a couple that are coming back to fitness or from injury aren't at the level that they, they have been yet. So, yeah, we, look, we've got loads of improvements to do. And, um, there's areas of the pitch where we've got more more cover than others, where some probably need to come out of the team, but we haven't got that at the moment. So it just is what it is. Um, we have to we have to find a better level from that, and that's my job to 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 try and do that and encourage the players that there's there's more in them, um, because I think we've seen in a, in doses that there is, but doses isn't enough. It's a 46 game season. We're 13 games in. We're a few points shy of where we want to be, um, but we've got a little bit of a cushion on those beneath us. One win can transfer everything because it's such a tight league this season and I think it will be for some time um, but in order to get those points and get the results that we need we need to up the level of our performances because in recent weeks the, or in the last few league games um, against teams that everyone would hope you get points from and um, there's an element of expectation there but we have to remember who we are and, and um, how tough we found the league last year and um, it's going to be a long long season in the sense that you know, we're never going to be fighting at the top, top end of it at the moment, but we want to build towards that. Um, at this moment in time, the last handful of performances need to return us better levels than they have, and then there might be a chance of some points following with that. But um, yeah, back at it. The next game's come very, very quick at the moment. Obviously, two home games next week, um, and we need to have some courage and step up, and I've got to find some solutions in terms of team selection and making the right decisions with uh, preparing the team well because in the end, 
every responsibility lands with you as the manager and then it's up to the players to, to deliver as well. Yeah, people will be hurting tonight after the result but with two home games next week which you've already mentioned it's important that people can shake that feeling off and get up for what could be a really exciting week and two more great opportunities. Yeah, look, you hope so, don't you? I mean, we're, we're playing against um, a team that are absolutely flying at the moment but, but just like Cheltenham, uh, um, the longer an un, a, a, game, a run without a win comes they're getting closer to a win Portsmouth are getting closer to a negative result as well and someone's going to do it to them at some point so um, it's up to us to try and be the team that does it. The quick turnaround is probably a good thing. We've had too long between some games in recent weeks, but we know we've got a run of games now that we need to go and do well in. And the players need to have a real courage about them and supporters need to come and really back the players. And, and that works both ways. You know, everyone's got to give every, everything for everyone because um, whilst you're always disappointed for people that pay the good earned money and, and travel to these games to come and see the team perform and get results, at the same time, the players work all week to try and get them as well. So no one feels great about themselves when it doesn't, when it doesn't come off. So, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do in a very short period of time to deliver a performance on Tuesday that is um, at the level we need it to be to, to get some points from the game.